that cl that closes, I think. I don't know why you w would close that. You should keep it open. That's just less for that's just a lot for me to deal with. I mean, I'm just thinking in, Gan in Ganon's terms. Ganon's still looking at it. I was like, how the hell did he get through? Did I leave guards down there? I'm sure I left guards down there to stop him. Oh, wait, the regular guard. Shit. All right, they're going to die. All right, well, uh, I guess I need to hire more people now. goes the Forsaken Forge. <laughs> he goes to the to the front door of the Forsaken Forge that I blew up. He gets out there. It's like shit. He blew it up too. Damn it. Now I need a new door. He gets a new door. He puts it in. And then he puts a little post note saying, "Now hiring." <laughs> little kid in green hat beat up all of my guards. Now hiring. Uh, health plan. Uh, you know, health insurance. Not included, because, to be honest, you are going to get hurt. <laughs> Still, work minimum wage, get enough stuff. <laughs> even, the gar even the gar- even the people come through, is like, uh... Even the people come through, they know can <laughs> And he's like, you know, I want the job and everything, but... Why, why, do you, why do you need people? And he's like, because my guards keep getting killed by this green hat asshole. And I can't, I can't, just can't deal with all these people. I just need new people. And the guy's like, but can't you, like, spawn pigs? He's like, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. I don't even need to pay these guys. They're completely expendable. Like Sylvester St Stallone. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I made a joke. The expendables get it. Schwarzenegger wasn't in the third one. I don't think so. What you gonna do, asshole? Nice walk there. You doing the chicken? Oh man, got a nice little doodle up there. Man, he's pissed. Oh man, that was my favorite mask. Let me get all the ladies, am I right? No, you're not. Hey guys, I bet with that mask, he like showing his cock to the lady. <laughs> Uh, halfway through delivering that, I was like, I, I, I have to. Nice walk, Jesus. You're not walking down the runway. You stabbed me in the nostril, asshole. Whoa, whoa. He has no idea what to do. He's like, ah, 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 that hurt. It really hurt. Oh man, shine all the spotlights at him. I'm like, don't you? And it's like, why are you shining the spotlights at him? And then he exploded. Great. And it's like, oh man! You killed my bird! I know you just slaughtered hundreds of my guards, but that's my bird, man! Give him a mask, too! Made him feel important! Birds are supposed to last a really long time, man! Or is that just parrots? I don't know. Maybe it was just a rooster. A giant evil rooster. Or a giant evil cock, am I right? <laughs> I can't stop. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. Nice tea hut here, asshole. Uh, you got you got a nice sweetie swag up here. Alrighty, now that we beat the shit out of his bird. Now to face Ganon. He's got a sweet coat. Pretty big. It's been a while, boy. A while, really? You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. Well, I didn't really. I kind of just walked up the stairs. I, I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. Well, it wasn't really reckless. I mean, I... My name is Ganondorf. He has a sweet red beard. And I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. I've already seen your face once before, but I'm a little bit taken aback by your sweet beard. By the way, boy... When you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, how did you know that? Did you by chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly became, became, began stirring again? Well, I thought they were just statues and everything like that. Do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do, foolish child. When that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time it has long played another role. You see, it is also a sort of key, a most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. Wait, does that mean I just did a dick move? You did a massive dick move. 
by withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. King of the Red Line sit down. It's like, King of the Red Line sit down. And he's like, shit. I don't. I forgot about that. <laughs> he had to have known. But the King of the Red Line is like, he's looking at him. He's like, fuck. I. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> that that. <laughs> he's freaking out. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. King of the Red Lions, didn't you tell me you used to glow? Yeah. It, it's it supposed to glow? Now that you mention it, I think it is. <laughs> Go back to the world below and tell to the pathetic fools who made this blade. Tell them what? The <laughs> its power is gone, and its edges are dull. Not too dull, I mean. I just sliced a lot of your guards up. <laughs> oh, how, how did you get in here? Oh, I jumped here. Oh, okay. Well, man, you got you got wicked moves. Buddy, yeah, get up! Give me a second. I've just I just got a sword cut put in my throat. Yeah, I got a hand put in my throat. Thanks. Ah, uh, stop! Let me go. It's weird. man. You were tiny. You pathetic little sea rat. What a bitch! Am I right? Oh man, you got a triangle on my hand. That's weird. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's like. My Triforce of Power is resonating! At long last, I have found you, Princess Zelda! Even Link's like, what the f- what? <laughs> I don't know, any Zelda, maybe? I don't know, I forgot. Feigning in <laughs> will gain you nothing. Sorry, I've got cotton in my throat. That the expression was frog in your throat. Yeah, I got a hand on your throat. Shut up, I'll say whatever I want. Oh, well, <laughs> Oh, damn! They were there and then they weren't. Like a Houdini trick. Oh well. Uh, my eyes are orange. That's a big dragon. Are you gonna do what I think you're gonna do? Yes. What do you think I'm gonna do? I don't know, breathe fire in my face. Oh, well, I wasn't thinking about that, but now that you mention it. Man, that's kinda that's kinda morbid. It's like a pyre or some shit. My butt hurts. Anyway, um So yeah! We just tried facing Ganon and found out that the Master Sword is not ready yet. And the King of the Red Lions completely forgot about that. He's like, Shit, um, alright, back up, I forgot. Okay, Link, I'm gonna be honest with you. I completely forgot about that. I mean, with other Legend of Zelda games, you know that once you collect the first few things, the first few important things after going through dungeons, you, uh, you, you always know it's like, that's not it, is it? Then you always get the next part of the quests, where you collect more things. That's that's how that's how it usually goes down. So it's kind of funny because in Legend, in the other Legend of Zelda games, you kind of understand because you know then you get this, and then someone tells you, "Oh, now do this." But in this situation, it 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 does feel like the King of the Reliance just forgot about it. He's like, "That thing used to glow." Looks like it used to. Yeah, it's not glowing. I don't know why. Eh, it's probably nothing. It probably is something. Then he's got a sword to his throat by Ganny. He's like, it does not sparkle anymore. And King, Red Line, King of the Red Lions is like, fuck. <laughs> so that's why it sparkled. <laughs> Didn't even understand why. But anyway, uh, so we went to Ganon. The Master Blade, the Master Sword is not ready yet. Uh, it is supposed to be the Blade of Evil's Bane, but it does not bane any evil. So we need to figure out why it doesn't bane any evil. <laughs> Sup? We're at the bottom of the ocean. No, we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> of course I'm alright. What is this place? Bottom of the ocean. I just fucking told you. Ganondorf? Well, he just lit out in a fireball. <laughs> My butt lit up. Butthead, what are you doing? You must come to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who's using that stone? Oh. Who are you? Butthead and I are the only ones who could speak through the stone, asshole. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we went to Game Door and he's like, he kicked our ass. Then Tetra came in and she was told that she was Princess Zelda. It's either Ganon has that, you know, orange over his eyes, but, you know, this game looks sweet. Um, everything is recording, right? <laughs> it's a bad time to check. All right. Okay, all right, let's not uh, run straight into the wall, shall we? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is great. Alrighty. Hey, do you like this place? Is this really at the bottom of the ocean? Yep. 
This place looks familiar. I bet it does. Time for plot point. You can jump that gap, right? Oh, well, we're just gonna go straight into here. All right, okay. Hey, what's up? Nice red coat. Gonna call the British? <laughs> uh, are you him? Maybe. That stone is an enhanced version of I, that. I only I only have one deep voice. Uh, for every person that's supposed to have a deep voice and something epic, it's always oh, it's this one with a little British accent thrown in. I don't know why. That's just how it is. I don't have like a deeper voice where it's just like. Urgh. I mean, sometimes I can go deeper when it's in the morning and everything. Um, that. All right, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna go. Oh, dude, nice hat. Daphne, Daphne's. No, Hanson, Hyrule. What? Butthead, do you re not recognize my voice? Indeed, I'm the one who guided you. I'm the king of the Red Lions. Dude, you're a boat? I thought I thought you were a boat. I am a boat. But I am also human. I'm half boat, half human. <laughs> Actually, I'm fucking with you. I'm, I'm just, I just made an illusion. Alright, so they just... You know, now, here's what I don't get. Uh, so, Wind Waker... Uh, it, like, all the people in Hyrule are lost. Everyone died, you know, because Ganon, uh, Ganon, you know, he's just like, yeah, screw Hyrule, and then he's like, boom, and everyone died. So, here's the problem here. Why is the king still alive? Those people were your ancestors. So, how old are you? Uh, well, never ask a person for their age. It's very rude. Actually, it's, it's kind of important to the plot. Tetra, come to me. Why, you gotta touch me? No, just... I, I just need you for something. I think you can touch me. I'm not gonna touch you! I'm gonna touch something inside of you! Or on you, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it, and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? That's because it's the last puzzle piece. I've been... I've been fucking assembling this thing for years! I mean, jeez, I already want Yami, and I, just don't, and I want to start dueling. <laughs> Gotta defeat Kaiba Corp. <laughs> Great A comedy. Am I right? So good. Hey, how did you get that magic? I'm immortal. I can do whatever I want. I'm the Deus Ex Machina. I am also a boat. Oh man, it's almost as like it's almost as if everything is a triangle. Imagine if the thing that came from that little, like, the, uh, the thing that Tetra was instructed to treasure, what if it was, like, a square? And the, king, and the king's like, fuck, I, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> oh, look, it's Princess Zelda, significantly younger and slimmer. Something I can't masturbate! <laughs> well, I can, I just get in trouble. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's creepy, huh? My fate. Now, here's something I don't understand. Now, Tetra, uh, Tetra did know about this treasure that she was supposed to, uh, guard with her life. You know, that little, that little, uh, necklace that she has. She was instructed about that, but she doesn't know about, you know, her being Princess Zelda and everything, or having this, uh, having this bloodline being related to Princess Zelda. Uh, the actual Princess Zelda, she's just, you know, but... It just hit me. How does this reincarnation work? How does this bloodline work? Does, is she the actual Princess Zelda? Or is this a reincarnation? Is it a bloodline kind of thing? Or are we talking in the like, recent Naruto manga territory where it's like reincarnations of those two, you know, the sons of the, the Queen of Chakra and everything? Only I get that. No one else here, no one else, no one else who watches this will understand that. Uh, if you want to read the latest chapter of Naruto, please don't, because you will be fucking lost. <laughs> Uh, the fighting god right now! <laughs> it is far too dangerous for you to join us in the task. What are you talking about? Fortunately, the sacred chamber chamber's not yet no Alright, back up. He totally knows about this place. How does he not know about this place? His guards were here. They were looking for shit. How does he how does he not find the door? Which is like, oh hey, look at that. He totally knows this is here. He's probably the one that found it. He's just like. This is the re most retarded puzzle I've ever seen. <laughs> he goes down to goes down the and is like, "Oh yeah, the master sword." No, it's too easy. This 
This has to be a trap. All right, I'm going back down. N nice lightning blade bangs you got there. I don't know how to say this. Are you gonna say you love? No. What? What? Fu uh, Jesus. Uh, I mean. Right. No. Here's ba back to what I was talking about. Uh, Tetra. Uh, she knows about the peace and everything. I, but the problem is the game doesn't really explain that how much she actually knows about Hyrule and the bloodline and and everything else. I. I don't. Uh, I don't understand that part. She's got green hair. What the hell? That's weird. Or a, a mossy kind of color, but you know. Wait, what do you mean I need to stay in here? Well, the statue's already moved. What do you mean? <laughs> oh shit, does she have food down there? Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna be gone for like a lot, so just stay there and don't worry, everything will be fine. Back out. Hey bro, what's up? <laughs> oh, alright, I'm back in. What's up? I'm also a boat. I'm now the boat. This is something that's happened to this stage. <laughs> Again, I completely forgot about the glowing part. So here's what we now need to do. Since we collected the three goddess pearls and put them in their pedestals and found this place, we actually need to do a little bit more. As again, the Master Sword has not been completely awakened yet. So now what we need to do, we need to go to two different temples. The Northern Temple and the Southern Temple. And we need to, uh... And we need to uh, talk to the sages there to unlock the full power of uh, the Master Sword. For those of you that played it, has played any Legend of Zelda game, you know that it's not going to get that simple. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does not get that simple. But anyway, uh, oh shit, do you know the legend here at the time? Yeah, fucking everyone tells me it. Once long ago, the last two priests tried to get to try forces courage. Everything like that, blah, blah, blah. So it's a H. That's gonna be the fun part. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna unlock the Master Sword first, but that's gonna be the fun part. But anyway, guys, it looks like that's been a little bit long enough for a session this time. We did a lot. Well, not a whole lot, but we did enough. So, guys, if you enjoyed this session of Wind Waker, then please tune in next time while we go to the Northern and Southern Temples, find the eight Triforce pieces, and end this game. It's not going to be done next session. It's going to it's going to actually take a while. Man, that sky's beautiful and blue. And man, that thing is tall.